God is good and his mercies endures forever. Thank you for joining me today. My name is Patrick Tolani. I'm a pastor with Christ Love Assembly, a parish of the redeemed Christian Church of God. We reflect from the Open Heavens Daily Devotional written by Pastor E. Adeboe, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. Our topic for today says only a voice. The Bible passage is taken from the book of Luke, chapter 3, verse 2 and 3. And it said, Why Annas and Caiaphas were high priests? The word of God came to John, the son of Zechariah, in the wilderness. And he went into all the region around the Jordan, preaching a baptism of repentance for the remission of sins. The memory verse, Luke 3, 2. While Annas and Caiaphas were high priests, the word of God came to John, the son of Zechariah, in the wilderness. Now, what is pertinent for us to consider today is a very important question. Who am I? John the Baptist knew exactly who he was. That is the reason he said in the book of John 3, 29 to 30, that he who has the bride is the bridegroom. But the friend of the bridegroom who stands and hears him rejoices greatly because of the bridegroom's voice. Therefore, this joy of mine is fulfilled. He must increase, but I must decrease. He knew it was a voice, and his job was to herald the coming of the Lord and the voice of the bridegroom. As servants of God, are you arrogating to yourself the position that does not belong to you? The miracles happening in your church and the powerful sermon that you preach, are you thinking that they happened because of your wisdom? Or do you think they happened because of your eloquence? Or the beauty of your speech? Herod spoke in Acts of Apostles chapter 12, Verse 22, and the people who listened to him said, Wow, this is the voice of God and not of man. And he died instantly, and he was eaten up by worms. Be careful. Don't share God's glory with him. Secondly, remember that as we are the voice of God, our voice needs to be consecrated so that we do not say what does not edify. Remember that you are only a voice and be careful with the way you use that voice for God. Our prayer point. Father, as you use me for your glory throughout my earthly sojourn, help me to always remember that I'm only a voice. Father, we thank you and we bless you because you have said in your word that your glory you will not share with any man. We pray that, Lord, we will recognize who we are. We will recognize our commission and we will walk in it to the glory of your name. This we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Do have a wonderful day and the Lord bless you.